It's a whole new world we live in. Do 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 do. It's Wait. a whole new way to see. It's a whole Wait, new. Are you gonna sing the whole? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well, I just ruined it for you. Well, thanks a lot. I actually don't know that song. It's a poke. It's a Pokemon Johto theme. Theme. Oh, I do know that song actually. Okay, so I guess I'm. So that's the song you want me to intro in. Sure, go for it. I now have to sync it up with your audio. That's that's great. So, hello, people. Hello. I'm Enzo. I'm Chris. And this is another episode of Restart Podcast with no news because Enzo's been busy with college and actually hasn't been able to see any interesting news during anime. So, well, there was one. There was a couple news that I wanted to pull up. Actually, since we're just on the computer, I just might go on Crunchyroll and look. So, what do you want to talk about while I open up another Google Chrome? Because there's too many tabs on this one. One fascinating thing that I found was. Is it hentai? Well, yes, it was actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was actually. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you nailed it. I was, I was, not, I was expecting. I was, wait, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, two things. Was it? Wait. I discovered Hoonie Pop, even though I'm very late. Hoonie Pop. Yes, I'm like I was very. Wait, 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 wait. Who is that? I need to. Ref- I need to make. It's sure. a. It's a game. Oh, okay. It's uh basically basically you, um... My team romantic comedy snafu young black Jack and more featured on new hug pillows and sheets. Oh god, no. Please no, no. Hey, oh, that's, hey. That's my, that's my, that's my wife. Okay, go back to your, uh, your, go back to your hentai, please. I just, I just found, uh, Hoonie Pop, which is... Wait, that reminds me, do you know there's a guy who's known in, ja- in, like, anime who's known as, like, the tentacle master? Oh yeah, yeah, that guy. Wait, let me see if I can find the article that says it. Okay, but go back with your hentai. I found it. And Valkyrie Drive. And I was thinking, oh, well, this this isn't this doesn't seem as bad, but though I've seen, I pl- I actually have a game that's actually above that when it comes to smut. It's a smite. Smut. Oh, sm- oh, okay. It's called D- Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme, and it's one of the greatest <laughs> games ever. All right, I was just checking my phone on vibrate, so it is. All right. Okay, I don't know how to respond to that. I was not expecting you to start talking about hentai immediately. <laughs> and two... Also, crap, what time did we start recording? I don't know. I think we started like two minutes ago. Yeah. Right, whatever, so at like six... At like seven, basically, the we should just wrap up. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I actually had to go like a little bit earlier this time. Uh, around what time? Around like six. Oh, so we're just going to record... Around six? That just means it's going to be like 30 minutes. Actually, no. We, we, 6.30? Uh, 6.30. At least we could be an hour that way. Yeah, I All guess. Right. But um go back to hentai please. And secondly, I found like something on my YouTube subscription that was basically, you know watch Mojo the the yes. the, the, the top 10. They did a top, I, the top I, 10 facts about hentai. I, I, was, I need to say that. I was on I was okay, so <laughs> so context for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, Chris got here. We're recording at, if, you, if you can't tell we're recording together in the same room. We're not doing Skype anymore cuz Skype is terrible. Oh yeah. So basically what happened is I just came from college. I literally ran here when he was like, "Where are you?" So, like, yeah. So I came exhausted, and my lips are dry. Ew. I mean, well, I just came running, but we're gonna take a break later. But so I can't. I when I was doing my group project, I went on YouTube, and like the first thing, like straight on my YouTube subscription was top five facts about this guy. <laughs> and I was like, like, scroll. I have to scroll down immediately. No, no. I immediately clicked on it. I was like, I was, I was. Here's the thing. I was very intrigued that I actually went through that. No, oh, sorry. I got really happy. Okay, but I was immediately intrigued. It's like, what? What the hell are they gonna say about hentai? About uh, th- about hentai? What? What we already don't know about it. Sorry, I'm still just. I'm making sure that it's still recording. Okay, we're still All recording. Right. All right. So I want to watch that. We're not gonna watch it here. Speaking of hentai. <laughs> We just found like, another article. Well, not really. It's not hentai. It's just girls in bikini in a bikinis playing on the beach. Completely normal. Not hentai at all. Can we? Can we guess what it is? Uh. Well. Oh, I know. Well, wait. Me because I'm looking at it. 
Wait, what are we talking it's about? It's Dead or Alive Extreme 3. It is. It's not coming to America, though. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, no. I, I actually was kind of like, I actually was interested in playing it just to see how exaggerated the booth is. The booth is there. It's that, crazy. I know, I know. But the thing is, let me just say this. Uh, I played Dead or Alive 5 on Xbox One because it was free. Mm -hmm. And I was bored, so I was just like tinkering through the settings. There's like literally breast physics setting, and it's like extreme, like less, like there was like setting. And I was like, oh my god, there's actual breast. Or I like, want to see this now. I'm intrigued. It's, I I actually don't have it because it was free for like it was months ago, but it was free for like a day and I or it was free for a week and I got all the achievements in a week, but so it's not there anymore. Ah. Oh. Uh, actually, I'm happy. Crunchyroll added Beyblade to their catalog. That makes me really happy. Oh. Because I like Beyblade. Fun fact: first Beyblade series made by Madhouse Studio that did One Punch Man. Really. Parasite and Death Note. They also did Card Captor Sakura. Yeah, I, know, I, I knew I knew about that. Like this, I think this was their first show, though. That was their first series they ever did, actually. Honestly, looking back at it, it's like, yeah, this sounds cool on paper, but when when you wait, no, wait, I need to tell you since we're talking about Beyblade animes based on toys. Do you know about? Uh, do you have Discovery Kids? Discovery Kids. It's a channel. It's a channel on. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a channel. Do you have it? Oh uh, yeah. What about it? They, there's this new show called Blazing Team Masters of Yokondo, and it's basically really dumb. Thing. It's like this, trying to make it epic with a toy, and guess what the toy is? What is it? Yo-yos. <laughs> oh I me, hate humanity! Let me, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, before I show you that, I just want to look up Beyblade, because I love Beyblade. Mm -hmm. Also, no one cares about Beyblade. Beyblade was terrible. It was really dumb. And then Beyblade Metal Fury was actually pretty good. Really? I, I did watch it. It was really good. It was just kind of like, yeah, this is Beyblade. It's like, not trying to do anything. It's literally Beyblade, and that's what Spe makes it good. And let me sh let me find. I actually have some Beyblades in my house right now. That yeah. that made. I actually went through a Beyblade phase in the middle of like high school because I was like, this show makes me want Beyblades, and they're still just as fun as they always are. You know, speaking of like, wait, 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 wait let me. Oh me. man, come on. No, no, sorry. Just talk while I go on Google and search up that show I told you about because it's trying to be anime, but it clearly isn't anime. Oh god. But speaking, going back to like the very old old uh cart uh anime, I kept. It's like. Do you remember Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, yeah, everyone, of course I remember Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu -Oh. yeah, but in Central, everybody in like, the cafeteria keeps playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, wow, this is very interesting. People are like hyped for this. See, look, see. Oh, no. Yeah. Some, please put a script, please put like a screen cap of this. I can't, I don't know how to screen cap, but I'll just put a picture, I'll just show, I'll just put the pictures I find, because I could, uh, with the editor I'm using, I can actually sync it up really well, the pictures of what we're talking about. Oh, thank God. It is, because last time, not last time, last time I was like, okay, last time the audio was really weird, it sounded terrible. Mm -hmm. You called me a fetus on the, <laughs> on the, on the YouTube channel. You are a fetus! Um, that's only one person can do that, that's Sarah, you can't call me a fetus, that's Sarah's thing. That's a joke. That's a joke no one's gonna get. But, but <laughs> that's a joke no one's gonna get. And the cables are on the floor. I'll be right back. All right. So you called me a fetus, but uh, I actually was testing it out, and the audio came out really well because I was able to put the My Little Pony theme song and the Digimon theme song. And I did what you did, and I put the Mon Musu theme at the ending. At the end. Yeah, but you, it wasn't the opening. It was the ending, though. You, you, did, you weren't specific, and I just assumed because it was the ending of the podcast that I just put it as the ending. Shameful. You didn't say. All, I, it was all, like, all right, let's get let's get back on this terrible ripoff. All right, so wait, I think I think on YouTube there's like a trailer if I could find it, but oh god, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Like Beyblade, at least. Like, it had its own thing. It looked cool, though. You got what I mean? Like it, As a child, you saw that. You were like, whoa, I want to do that. This is like... And it makes sense because it's two pieces of like plastic hitting each other. It's like, okay, I can see the battle thing going. You get what I mean? Yeah. This is like... It's a yo-yo. I love yo-yos, but this is freaking stupid. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it on YouTube, actually. You know what, like, you know what this reminds me of? Like one of those cheap-ass yo-yos okay, basically... Okay, I, found, I, I, found the, I found the intro. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what are oh, we getting ourselves into? Wait, I, I already hate the show already. I hate the show already. I hate the show already. It's t I saw this show and I was like, this is the stupidest thing. The bad guy is the most generic looking 
bad guy. Is he like? Is he like the bad guy from? You, you, no, you saw him. He's in the trailer. Like, uh, if I pause it, like you'll see him for a split second. But I'll try to find an actual image of him. But it's like he's literally the guy with a hood. He has a mask. He's black and red. Like, there's nothing at all that makes it like it's generic. Regular bad guy. Okay, wait, it's right here. That, that that's the bad guy. Oh my god, that's terrible. It's gen- it's the most generic thing, and then he has like a really deep like Darth Vader voice. Oh my god. Like it's the most generic thing I've ever seen. When it comes to a bad guy, you know the most stupidest <laughs> show I've ever seen. It's so. I think this is Canada. I think this is a Canadian show. I'm okay, gonna... thank God it's not in America. It's not. Wait, let me see. I'm on, I'm on. Uh, let me see. Web. Uh, so, no one saw Chris's face, but he kind of looked disgusted. Oh, wait. Okay, Hasbro. It's Hasbro. It's Hasbro. All right. Oh, it's a Chinese TV show. It is! Well, wait, what? <laughs> oh, shameful. God. It's... F- the show focuses on high school... On high school... Uh, on high schools that hold yo-yo contests. What? Oh, yeah, they do that. I know, but it's... It's so dumb. There was another... Oh, I remember. This, there's this other show that surprised me. It was not Chinese, but it's a Korean show. Mm-hmm. And it was also pretty terrible. It was called um, Tai Chi Chasers. Do you remember it? I heard of that, but I don't really remember it that much. I'll, I'll, and I'll show you a picture of it. But I watched it, and I was like, wow, this show is... Dumb. Is really dumb. It's really dumb. Uh, this show... It had an 8.4 on TV.com. That's a complete lie. That's a complete lie. That is a lie. That is not... What? What's a lie? It had an 8.4 on TV.com. Oh, God. I've seen that show. I watched it. It used to give it in my Saturday morning block. Not good. It only lasted a year. I think less than a year. It was not good. It was not a good show. So, uh, my review of Blazing Team shall be up next... No, I'm not reviewing. <laughs> oh, my God. Please don't. I'm not gonna... I don't want you to die. I'm not going to do that. I will, in fact, review Durara X210, because that's what I'm currently watching. Uh-huh. It's really good, actually. It's really solid. Oh. You should watch it. Uh, it's really, really good. The And it picks up, like, right where... Oh, right where we're... Right where... Ah, right where the last part left off. Like, it picks up immediately. It's really good. Really? Yes, it's... It's hard to talk about Durara, because if I say anything and you haven't seen the show, you're not going to get anything. Yeah, so, I, I'll, I only finished, like, the first season, and it just, dropped, like, dropped off because I was too busy. It's really good, and it's like, they split up the second season into multiple parts, so it's like mini-seasons. Yeah. So it's like, first part is 12 episodes, second part is 12 episodes, third part, which is the final part, which premieres in January, is also 12 episodes, I'm assuming. It's really good. In other news, Platinum Games listed as developer for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. That actually would be pretty, that's actually really good. That's actually, wait, 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 are they talking about like the old-fashioned arcade version, or are they making I, like a remake? No, I think they're, because Platinum Games is really good at action games they made bayonetta and, oh and um not dmc but the original devil may cry and they're making scale bounds which looks freaking great scale down looks amazing speaking speaking of like game speaking of games that are in the process supports indivisible no it's funded it, that, wait they got funded already it funded it got literally got funded like earlier today really now this dates when this podcast was recorded so you yeah. but it was funded and, and it, it's and it was like that, I don't know, that made me really sad with Indivisible, though, because they, because a regular Indiegogo has 30 days, but they, since they know the people at Indiegogo, they asked for another 20 days. Hmm. So, if they didn't do that, that game would not have been funded. Yeah. That makes me really sad, though, because they're a really good developer. I mean, here's the... Here's... Oh, wait, dude, do you want to... Since we have the Elgato, I'm going to use it to record footage for some shows. Uh, we should do a play, uh, let's play of uh, Skullgirls. Oh, God. No, here, here's what we're gonna. Even though it's never gonna be, it's never gonna be on Xbox One, which makes me super sad. Oh god! I want it on Xbox One though. No, we're, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Hoonie Pop. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not gonna. Oh, uh, since I'm talking about Skullgirls, I found there's. I never noticed how much. Well, like I watched the playthrough of Peacock's uh, story in uh, Skullgirls Second Encore because the, the, all the, audio, all the dialogue. Originally didn't have any audio, but now it does. Mm. But someone recorded all the weeaboo things Peacock says in the game when she fights. And there is a reference for you if you like anime. And it's incredible the amount of stuff she says. Like, she literally says, uh, art, to the, art to the next explosion. Uh-huh. And, like, she, like, th- like, that is, she has so many. I'm not even, like, there's another thing where she's like, I could deal with less fan service. Yeah. I think I might just add it in, like, later the audio from it, but it's like amazing the amount of stuff they did they made Sarah Ann Williams say for Peacock. Nani? Nani? Dame! Dame! Desu! Desu! Peki 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 desu ka? Ayo, 
hope this ain't a filler episode. The hero arrives at the last second! Hey, this ain't the convention hall! In the name of Wabby, I will pulverize you! I... I hope Senpai will notice me! I've read enough Doja to know where this is going. It's time to duel! And it's, uh... It's like really cool. I think they're gonna go for that art, uh, go for that style more. I'm gonna try to find it. But yeah, that was actually really surprising news. It's like, oh yeah, Samurai Jack's back. No big deal. It's like, what do you mean it's a big deal? Like, what do you mean it's not a big deal? Like, I think I think like all of, like the. Okay. I'm gonna say this right now. Yeah. Pray, pray to whatever flying deity that you believe in that it's not gonna be another Teen Titans Go. No, it's not, because Gendy Tartakovsky, who was the creator of Samurai Jack, is, uh, is making this one. Thank God. It is. He, know he knows what he's doing! He does! Oh, can I just say I'm really sad that Symbionic Titan never went anywhere. Oh, yeah. Wait, it didn't, like, story-wise? No, it was, like, you... Let me just say this, like, Samurai... Uh, not Samurai Jack. Symbionic Titan was a great show, and it was, like... How do I say, like, it was setting something. It was setting something up big. But literally, the last episode of the second season, I think, literally ends. I'm not gonna spoil it. Symbiotic Titans for anyone that hasn't seen it, but like, it sets up something, and it basically is like the characters are returning because they had to leave like their like their home, and like the episode is literally called "The Heroes Return," and that's the last episode of the show. Oh god! And it sucks because it's like they they're setting something up here, and then they canceled it, and it made me so freaking sad. It made me so sad because Symbiotic Titan was great, and that's also uh, Gendy Tartakovsky said that's like the show he worked on. Like, that that show, like, he put so much work in, into that one show, and it kind of sucks that they canceled it. Okay, so I found it. I'm going to lower the volume so it doesn't pop up, but, like, it looks really good, like, if it, if it loads, but... Wait, is this, like, a CGI sort of thing, it's or...? It's CG, but it looks really good. Like, it doesn't look bad. Because like, <laughs> like, looking look, at the... Look, 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 okay, see. It's a tribute, and... Look at it. Does it. It doesn't look bad, though. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I feel like they're going to go with a style like this because when I looked at the animation that they did for the reveal, it looked... It looked 3D. It looked 3D somewhat. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. Wait, make a Samurai Jack game like this. Please, somebody... That would be amazing! That would be incredible! Someone do that! Ah... Uh, I, uh, anyone that's curious, I'm going to link below. I'm going to put in the description of the link to any videos that I put up that I showed uh, Chris during the podcast or anything we talk about. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tribute, so, like, this is fan made. Yeah, I can tell. But it looks good, though. Yeah, I know it looks it's, good. It looks really good. Man. <laughs> I just start screaming out of the podcast. If they came back like this, would you would you be okay with it? I would be I would be okay with it, but it it has like this sort of nostalgia with me with like the design of with the design of the original like the art style. Yes, I know, but it looks really good. Like, and I like, but it flows really good. It does. That's why like this is old actually. This uh, they someone made this like uh, yeah June uh, June earlier this year. Oh, and it looks really good. It was one of those things where I was like, if Samurai Jack comes back, I would not mind if it finished up like this. How many episodes do you think it's going to be, though? Um, I feel like it'll, it'll probably be, like, not that long. Yeah, it's not going to be that long, because I remember they made, like, a reboot for Samurai Jack. Really? Uh, well, like, um, like, what do you mean? Like, a, I think a, a, it a comic book, or? No, 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 no. It's like, it was, like, a really short uh, airing of, like, a reboot of Samurai Jack. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Because the thing was that, I don't know, like, I feel like they're not going to reboot. I think this is just to, like, finish off the show. Yeah, it says continues the epic story, like, right here. So I think it's just to finish off the show. You know... Because the last episode of Samurai Jack, and it's not really a spoiler, ends with him finding a baby child and him taking care of it while Sim singing, like, a little, an old samurai song, and then that's just how it ends. And it's, like, it's, it's, it's not a bad ending, but you, that's not the ending you wanted with Samurai Jack, because you want him to go back in time. You want him to do that. Mm. But, like, yeah, and it was one of those things where I'm like, I'm happy that it's continuing. I'm happy that it's continuing. Also, I'm noticing that Jack is wearing different armor. D d based on the silhouette, he's wearing different armor. Yeah. Let me let me play that. Oh, good. Oh, uh, well, poop. See, like, that. Like, that's not at all, like... 
is wearing something on it. I think he might be older. I think this is because they brought back Samurai Jack in a comic book. Oh, yeah, they did. And I think this is just going to be based on the comic book. <sighs> well, that could be a possibility. See, but... this couch is nice for podcasts. I know, it's great. It is actually really good. But, I have but... a nice couch for anyone that can't tell. But um, I remember watching like the YouTube video because sometimes when you're bored on YouTube, you basically just like randomly just go to like different videos. Yeah. And... One thing is, I, I found, like, some old Samurai Jack clips of, like, the final episode. Yeah. And I I remember there was a comment, and it, say, and it said, oh, wait, if me. if oh. this, this was would be the last thing Aku ever said before he died, his, his last few words that he heard was, no, jump good. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? No, that part, I did not like that scene in Samurai Jack, because it was like, he's finally gonna beat him, and then it ends, and then the next episode after that is kind of like... Did he not win? What? Like, they acted at all like the last episode didn't happen. And I'm like, you can't just do that to... You can't just do that to anybody. Be like, he's about to win the battle. And then the next episode be like... Like, it didn't... You can't do that. It sucks. <laughs> at least give us an explanation on why he didn't win. I'd, like, I'd be okay with that, but they never explained it. And I was like, what the freaking goddamn? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Cardcaptor Sakura. Oh, really? Uh, Where? Uh, oh. This is... Actually, Cardcaptor Sakura is first... I think it's Madhouse's first show, though, which is crazy, because... I thought you said... Wait, I thought you said Beyblade was the... It, like, Cardcaptor and Beyblade were the, were the first. Oh, okay, we're the first. Because it's funny, though... Be, it's funny, because they are now known for making really dark or epic series. Like, Death Note, Parasite... One Punch Man. <laughs> epic. Epic. I said epic. Well, you... Uh, they also I, did, they, they I focused also, on dark. They, uh, Death Parade. No, Death Parade. Uh, you know what's funny? Death Parade, uh, Light Yagami from Death Note appears in, like an episode of Death Parade. Really? But he's, like, very subtle, like, because I haven't seen Death Parade, but I saw, like, a picture of it, and I was like, oh, it's funny because Death Parade takes place in this bar, mm -hmm. and it's funny because there's, like, a shot where they, I think they have a camera or, like, a computer, and it just shows someone in the waiting room, and it's, like, they just show it for, like, five, for, like, three seconds, and it's, like, just light in the exact same art style from Death Note, just waiting, mm -hmm. and then it just cuts away, and it's, they just continue on, and I'm like, oh, it's light. Okay. <laughs> it's light. Oh, well, all right, sure. All right. Kuroko Basketball over there now on Crunchyroll, which is good. I've been wanting to watch Kuroko Basketball. Yes, the show, Myriad Colors, Phantom World. And then Enzo's hype train never stopped. It's Kyo Annie. Wait, they're making that movie based on that manga. Based on that manga you liked. Yeah, it was really good. Me and my brother was like had like an entire conversation about it. Kyo Annie though, like I can't talk about it. Kyo Annie is such a great studio. I love. It. What's like? Do you have any favorite an animation studio? Um, mine is Kyo Annie. Like they make. Slice of life, but their visuals are freaking, like, gorgeous. Like, if, if, if you want a good example, watch Beyond the Boundary. That show is, like, visually stunning. It's so beautiful. I don't know. I guess I can just stick with, like, Madhouse. Well, yeah, Madhouse is really good, actually. I'm watching Parasite, which is incredible. <laughs> I'm, but I'm watching it uh, weekly on Toonami because the dub is really solid. Like, Sentai, Sentai Films Works, they deserve an award because that dub is very, very good. It's an incredible dub. Yep. It's really good. Adam Gibbs does a great performance as Shinichi. Brittany Karbowski is great as Migi. And, like, just the rest of the cast is amazing. It's really good. Because with the Akami Ga Kill dub, it was kind of like, eh, the voices are, some of the voices are a little awkward. This one was like, no, the voices are actually perfect. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've ever seen a dub and you're just like, the voice, you're like, the voice can be a little better. Yeah. This, this, like, the Akami Ga Kill one kind of grew on me. But when I first watched it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, yeah. Also but the, the Parasite one was like, I was like, wow, they... The voices are perfect. Like, they fit perfectly well with the characters. Also, to answer your question on, like, what anime I've seen dubbed all throughout the way... Yeah? Soul Eater. Soul Eater's dubbed really good, though. Yep. It's great. That's... I think that's the only one. Because Todd Haberkorn is Death the Kid, and he is great with symmetry. <laughs> he is great with symmetry. It's, uh... Really, you've never seen uh, any other anime dubbed? Uh, no. Well, I've, I've well, watched, like, my, a, a well, couple episodes well, here and okay, there. so, wait, wait, wait. So, there's some rule. there's some rules. Everyone has seen some Pokemon dub. Obvious, that one's true. Everyone's seen some Yu-Gi-Oh dub. Probably seen Beyblade. Like, every anime you've seen as a child, you've seen dubbed. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, after that, any, any other anime have you seen dubbed after that? Um, let me think. Uh... Do you, oh, so you saw Gurren Lagann in Japanese? Japanese. Yeah, he's really good, though. Yeah. But the dub is solid. That's a really good dub. Uh, okay. I met someone today, actually, who gave Girl Log on a 9, not a 10, and I was like, dude, what did it not do? Literally, we can't, I'm not going to spoil it, but that <laughs> What ending, did it not do? That ending, to the ending to that show is kind of like, what is happening here? 
and you try to comprehend it, and you're just like, don't even try. It's insane. The end. It's like, wow, what did it not do to get a ten? I don't know. He. It's funny. He was a guy that I was like the first person that knew a lot as much about anime as I did, but he's like way more harsh when it comes to critique anime. Like a lot of the animes he re- reviewed on uh, MAL on MAL my anime list were like five, six, mm. very little eights or sevens. It was like Jesus. Like what? Like what like what does the show have to do to actually get a decent score from you okay let me ask you this what, what was his rating on Sora online what what was his rating on Sora online um i didn't see but i actually have i can actually look at his website uh not website his account but i'm not gonna say his name so no one bothers. he shall not be spoken he shall not be spoken and if we do say his name i will add a bleep to it because i don't want to say his name it's it's, it's his account name so you'll be able to find it but i'm not going to I'm not gonna say anything. Alright. Starter Online isn't that bad, though. It's a good starter anime. Good starter, you I get guess. Into, you, no, like, you watch it, you get oh, into... Oh, no. What, 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 the Asterisk War. What? I, uh, uh, is that show not good? Oh, God. It's just that I'm watching uh, somebody actually analyze the entire anime for me, and I was like, oh, my God, this sounds horrible. Uh, did you, bro? Did you, bro? I had a feeling it was did you, bro. Yep. That guy knows his anime. Yes, he does. Um, friend. It's oh. like... Uh, this, a- this actually don't, makes don't say his name please you dick you can't let me click on his name oh there it is there it is <laughs> alright so let's see let's see let's see what the anime statistics okay so if I scroll down the art uh, his uh, top 10 serial experiment slain actually serial experiment slain I know it's good fun fact it recently broke even last year huh. it broke even like so it didn't make it 20 back till recently so that's how long it took and these are his favorite people. Okay. No, but not he's not serious. It's a joke. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so I'm going to click on the animes. He's, uh, he's Really? Wait, wait. What did he give the score of... His mean, his mean score is basically a four. Mm. He loves Monogatari. I've been wanting to watch... Okay, I was about to say, if he if he gave, like... Alright, so let, let's see. I, I thought he was going to give Chivalry a... Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, damn. Okay, so he gave... What, five? Jesus. Actually, this makes me upset. It does! Like, I was like... He's a nice person. I, I talked to him. I talked to him. I met this person today. He's a really nice person. He's really, really, like... He... This person is very... Harsh when it comes to reviewing anime. Okay, let's let's, let's look for Sword Art. Okay. Wait, what? The, what? What? A four? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, that's a really good. Col- wait, colorful. What do you give that? What? Which one? I don't see it. Colorful. Mo- uh, it's a uh, movie. Have you, seen, have you seen that movie? Yes, I have. Uh, he didn't. He hasn't watched it yet. Oh. Oh, he didn't give a rating. Darkened in black. Darkened. Mm. Nice. Really, masterpiece. Well, battle royale high school. All right, so. Wait! Whoa! 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 whoa. We're now just looking at somebody else's profile and just critiquing it. Wait, he gave this this and this person is completely entitled to his opinions. We're but, not gonna say anything. But whoa, whoa here, whoa here. Wait, wait, wait. The Robert Rod five. That is not a five. That is not a five. He gave her a proxy and I. Durara, okay, I don't care. If you, like you look at Durara because I'm currently watching the second part. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't like it, you could tell. It's a very well made anime. Yes. You can tell it's good. Like, a lot of time and effort was put into this anime. You could tell that. And you, you, if you, even if you don't like it, you'll be like, oh, okay. I didn't like it, but I know it's a good show. Like, it's like when I watch Madoka Magica. I'm going to rewatch it this once because last month I didn't have any. Thank you very much. I, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I might do a series called Mad- the Madoka Diaries where I just talk about each, not each episode, but like every three episodes. You know, speaking, and, of, speaking of Madoka, there was oh, like. Do you, wait, do you. Actually, when we do. When I do watch you, uh, we'll just have a discussion on the podcast All about right. Madoka Magica. Okay, yeah, you're saying, you're saying. Uh, they ha- on Tumblr they had something called called Mado Mado. Oh, Madoka Tree. Yeah. Oh no, it's because um Shaft the studio has this expo where it's all this art of Madoka Magica and Monogatari together with extra stuff with like a bunch of stuff and it's really it's really cool because they have really uh, nice artwork. Okay, so. Okay. okay look. Okay, so. Look, Data Live. Data Data Live was pretty. No, Data Live is not a bad show, but I don't. It's not bad, but I don't. It's not a bad show. But Season yeah. two was pretty bad. It's, but it's not bad at where it gets a freaking two though. Oh, that is true. It's better than Infinite Stratus. God. 
Is it better than I feel like it's uh, after Infinite Stratos? I swear to God, if this if this wait, guy no, gave no, a higher no, rating no, for Infinite Stratos, I'm oh, gonna yeah, get he, angry. He, he didn't like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, wait, he gave what? he fully cool eight. All right, I don't know. Fully cool is the one of the few shows where I'm like, eh, I don't know really about Halo Legends. Okay, you didn't review that. I'm gonna go on the three. You're funny. Did it? Keep going, keep going. His mean score is a four, though, and I'm like, damn, dude. Oh, wait, okay. okay, thank God. It, it, got, it got a one. <laughs> okay, we're good. What did he give Infinite Stratus? Because it's funny, because Infinite Stratus, like, I will never, I don't think I've hit that point yet where I found an anime that I will give a one to. Like, Infinite Stratus to me is like at least a six or a five. Yeah. I, I'll look at it, but it, what did, what? Oh, I was going to watch Hioka. He gave it a six. Hioka is a, a anime I've been waiting to watch. Uh, made by Kyo Annie. All right, so let me see. Okay, Kill a Kill. Wait, what? You give you give it a six? Oh. Why well, Kill a Kill is pretty good though. But Kill a Kill is really good actually. Wait, what? I want to see Beyond the Boundary. What do you give Beyond the Boundary? Uh, see if you actually did that one. Oh, you want to watch Beyond the Boundary? No, 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 no. I mean like. Oh, have you? Or have you oh wait, it's uh, right. This is a Japanese name, so it's in the case because the Japanese name is Kyo Kai no Kanata. Yeah. Uh, here it is. It gave he gave he did not read it. He gave the movie a six. The movie. Wait. I haven't wait, seen wait, the movie. Wait, no, there are two movies. One's a recap movie that basically it's like, oh yeah, everything that all the important ones from the show, and then there's the movie that is like actually a year after the show. I think this is the actual. Look, I don't know to take this guy seriously because he's really harsh. If you can't tell. Yeah. It's like that movie, like Beyond the Boundary, is one of my favorite animes because it's just great. It's like I love this show, but that movie's really good. It's way higher than a six in my opinion. He gave. He gave Madoka. A wow. Fi- he gave Madoka. A f- <laughs> I'm, look, I'm not. I'm indifferent about Madoka Magica, but let me just say, it's like I, I could, that show's not a five. Like to me, at least, like in indi- like it's a seven, at least seven. No, for me, it's indifferent. I'm indifferent toward it, so I can't even give it a rating. Like oh. I, I don't like it or I don't hate it. So it's like there's no rating. I think I did give it a rating though, but I might change it. I think I give like a six. At least he gave Michiko and Hatsune an eight. That's okay. But the- he gave Cowboy Bebop. What did he, he gave Cowboy Bebop like a lower score than freaking Michiko and Hatsune actually? Really? He gave, it, he gave it a six. Oh. But the thing is, it's Cowboy Bebop. It Michiko and Hatsune's spiritual successor to Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo. How is it better than Cowboy Bebop? Cowboy Bebop is pretty flawless. Like I don't know. Have you? Do you like Cowboy Bebop? Uh, I've seen like a couple episodes of it, and it, it was really good. It's wait, really whoa, whoa! Good. What do you get for? Okay, that's understandable. Well, what, what, High school what? does that five. Wait, wait, I just want to, I, I have to look back. We've been recorded for 35 minutes, actually. All right. Uh, we, we could just be on here all day. Yeah, we're going to be here all day. Let's uh, go to Sora Online. Wait, wait, okay. Uh, Infinite Stratus, though. Okay. I might make a video on Infinite Stratus, actually. Wait, whoa, whoa. Let me see Neon Genesis. Oh. Uh, okay, he, got, he gave an 8. Uh, I haven't seen Neon Genesis Evangelion yet. Norigami. Where'd you give Norigami? What? A 3? That joke is not a 3! <laughs> Oh, this is the one show me and me and him agreed on. We gave Nana and Beery both eights. Uh, oh. That's the one show. It's like, this guy is extremely harsh. And it makes me just think, maybe I just have bad... Did I do something wrong? Samurai, what? Samurai Shampoo has a seven. Oh, okay. Huh? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Michiko and Hachin is not better than Samurai Shampoo. Well, okay, it's his opinion. I understand that. But I'm like, really? Samurai Shampoo is way better than Michiko and Hachin. All right, sort out, sort out. Wait, sword. wait, wait, Shinjeki no Ki- Okay, he, okay, he gave it a three. I'm happy, but uh, I'm happy Attack with this. Yeah, I'm happy. Attack on Titan is not a three, though. Oh, like, I, it's not. Like, I, I, honestly, the reason I'm giving it, a, uh, I agree with this opinion, is because the fan base. Yeah, the fan base. No, That's the look, only look, reason. Look, okay, see, so I, I, I might be biased over there. No, no, so, okay, so this is the thing I have to say. I don't like Attack on Titan. Like, I don't like Attack on Titan not because it's a bad show, but it, it because of the fan base. If I got rid of the fan base, the show's like a good eight for me. Mm-hmm. But. That fan base ruined it, so it's an 8, but I'm probably never going to watch that show ever again. Okay. Oh, okay, so he gave Survival Game Club a, a 7. That makes me happy. Survival Game Club is such a funny, stupid series, where the main character is such a scum of the earth. It's so freaking amazing. Psychopaths. Uh, sword. Oh, sword. Wait, what? Did we miss it? Where? No. Oh, no, keep going, keep going. Oh, thank you. You agree with no, me. No, no. Sword Art is, Sword Art is not a two. Game I, over, guys. No. He's my best, best friend. No, Sword Art is not a two or a one. Sword Art is, to me, a good eight. And it sucks because, uh, not Sword Art. Well, it has its problems. But the thing is with Sword Art, I actually found the pers- the one review on YouTube that gave Sword Art po- a posi- that said positive things about Sword Art. He, he gave... Made- what? He gave Haruhi no Suzumiya six. Well, Haruhi Suzumiya is pretty good, though. 
<sighs> Wait, do you not like you, it? You hurt me so much. Oh, you do love Melancholy Party Susan Mia. Yeah. <laughs> that was a real high five, people. <laughs> that was a real... Oh, uh, also Kiyoani. That's also Kiyoani. Really? Yeah. The, the, the thing I like about Kiyoani, though, is that their art style changes as time goes on. So their current style doesn't look like their old style. That was their earlier styles. Uh, oh, God, uh, those endless eights, so. though. Oh, no. Oh, I found out the voice actors uh, of Haruki, the dub ones, they did not like those endless eight arcs. Okay, I can sort of agree with Tokyo Ghoul, I guess. Wait, what's, what do you get Tokyo Ghoul? Three. Ah, to- I guess. Uh, maybe. Should this just be a thing where it's like, if you want to send us your NAL and we can critique it, send it, leave a link below on the podcast. Leave and, and then we'll... No, we're not going to do that because we would just be really stupid. What? Did you see the tour door? <laughs> and so, and so, and so. He does not like tour door. He does not like tour door one bit. Okay, I, I think we need to get out of here. When I saw you react to that, you were like, "What? You're like, wait? Do you want me to get the tiger plushie so you can caress it or something?" I think I'll be okay, but oh my god. So tour door is really good. Watch that anime if you want to get into anime. It's a really solid show. That's what got me into anime. But tour door. I- what did it? What did it? What guy, did it do? Because look, I I don't agree with saying the show's perfect. I'm just saying it just does a lot of things right. I don't. Toru is not a perfect show, but I don't know what it did that it. What it? it, it it's not even. The, and you know what? Like, what, why do you think he gave it a two though? I don't know. Do you think it might have been because of Taiga? Because he doesn't like Sundaris? I don't know, but wait. He, because he likes Sundaris. He does. He does. Wait, let me see something familiar. Um, what was I about to look up? Damn. Wait, wait, so wait, let me quickly check if, um, um, we are still recording, we are at 40 minutes. 40 minutes in. 40 minutes in. This is what? a fun podcast, actually. It is a fun podcast, It's actually but... fun now, because we don't have to do it over his crappy Skype. One, okay, no, he didn't do one, one Punch Man. Okay. Yeah, he didn't review one. Wait, what did he give No Game Life? He gave No Game No Life uh, 3, I think. Oh, God. Everything. But, like, that's the thing, though. This guy, nice guy. Really, really nice guy. I met this guy earlier today. Cool dude. Cool dude. He's friends with James. Oh, he is? Yeah, oh. his friends with, he was like, oh, you should meet my friend, the, you, he likes anime. And I was like, oh, this guy knows a lot about anime. And he, when he showed me his ratings for a lot, I'm like, this guy is harsh. Because, like, uh, my mean rating for anime is, like, at least an, around an 8. Not all of them are 8s. Like, a 7 or a 6, a few, but there's nothing, like, below that. Uh, oh, no. What do you give... What do you give a Blue Exorcist? You give it three. Uh, no, okay, so Blue Exorcist is pretty good though, but the last couple of episodes are kind of rushed. At least, at least, the, at least, Axel World is above a comic I kill. I'm happy about that. A comic I kill is pretty good. Though. It's a good anime, but it's just. Like, I, I understand if you don't like the ending to it. I, I, mean, I, I, I just we're got. We're not gonna spoil it. Just saying, I don't want to spoil it. I just, I just got, I just got bored after the appearance of Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> Really? Yes. You, 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 no one's gonna know what that is, but you dropped off there. Wow. Let me just say that has payoff. Like when you, if you stick to it, freaking payoff. That's payoff. <laughs> Clifford the big red dog. Big red dog. <laughs> you always call him that. Yes. Oh, one of my favorite things I've ever seen from a comic I called the meme where it's like the little dog. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you've seen this dog, you've seen some really messed up crap in your life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think we need to get out of okay, here we're now. Done, we're, we're done. done. Wait, let's, wait, can yeah. we go to our main topic now? Uh, wait, I just want to see what's the last thing. Or, not the last thing, but like... Wait, what did you give Space Dandy? I haven't seen Space Dandy. I don't want to watch it. Space Dandy. You it. Oh, okay. I just want to see if there's anything down here. Familiar Zero, though. Familiar Zero is pretty good. I like that show a lot. Uh... Familiar Zero is really, really solid. And I've had this cable on me the entire time. Uh, it is yeah so Maho Shoujo oh yeah so I'm gonna be reviewing Drara X210 and then I'm also gonna be reviewing Yuki Yuna is a hero cause that recently appeared on Netflix with a really awesome English dub cast hmm. uh, Saren Williams Herka Mendez and a couple of other and Sanx Hughes and I'm like wow that's awesome I for new, I always have to be like what, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> see, it doesn't work because no one's see, no one's seeing every. It's all visual. It's all like audio. None of it's visual. All right. What's Sweat Punch? What is an anime called Sweat Punch? I don't know. Let's click but, on it. Uh, Let's click on it. I, I want to read it. What? Oh. It's a lemon. Okay. Oh, okay. Can we go back on the main topic now? All right. So. Okay. The long awaited topic. Wait, wait, wait. So before we go on, we're gonna take a little break, and then we're gonna come back. 
and then we're gonna actually talk about the main topic. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go back, go back. I was gonna. Let, let me see. Let me see. Black Bullet back. Okay. Black I thought it got a. Se I thought Black Bullet got a seven. Why I like Black Bullet? It's not that bad. I don't know. I do, it's just something rubs me the wrong way with Black Bullet. Was it? Was it? Uh, how? The, why? What? What do you think it was? The story? The I don't character? know. I dropped it off on the first episode. It's funny. Uh, again, a lot of things happen on the last episodes of shows, but that show has a very surprising twist at the end of the show. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Well, I might tell you now that I'm gonna just cut it here, and then we're gonna come back in a uh, little bit. All right. So, uh, so we're going to stop recording now. And we're back. We're back. Uh, wow. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna talk about Overwatch, but Chris wants to show me something. Apparently. Oh. Uh, wait. Just, are, are, wait. What is that? It's this really cute commission that I made for my girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Ah, and there's a ghost. Wait, but who's the person in the middle? That's my. That's the character I'm writing. Ah. Okay. That's actually really nice. I thought it. Huh. I thought it was gonna be something. You know. That would have obscene. Been, yeah. Yes, actually, it was, I thought it was gonna be okay. So we're gonna be talking about Overwatch. Overwatch. Because this is the first time I've actually been able to talk about that with anybody because I didn't know anybody I knew was actually interested in that game. I love Overwatch. I know, but oh, my friend, my brother-in-law calls it a uh, a Team Fortress ripoff. Well, it's not really like a. Team, it's not. It's not it's a Team not. Fortress ripoff. So it's not because it, like those Team Fortress have a uh, character that can shoot ice spears and ice towers that you could walk on? I don't think so. I think it's just the fact that they're salty about the fact that... No, it, he didn't even know... Oh, God, we left it on this page. Uh, but, no, he didn't even know about it until I... Showed him. Showed the a thing... I, I shared a video. All right, so I'm going to search up Overwatch. Not Overlord anime. Overlord. Overwatch. Um, <clears throat> look, real talk... Oh, I'm actually happy that they're making a, uh, a, sh a series of shorts... Was the animation from was the animation that looks like Overwatch? Oh yeah, and that makes me really happy because the animation in that trailer for the in that reveal trailer, I love it so freaking much. You got everybody loves Tracer. They yeah they do actually, but uh, my favorite character is the Reaper. Well, my favorite character happens to be Genji because who doesn't love cybernetic robots? No, you it used to be Hanzo though. I, well, I love both the brothers. Yeah, but it's like. Uh, that moment in the trailer, though, where it's like they're facing off and it's like it just ends with him saying, like, brother. It's just like, what? Do you guys know it? What? Yeah. What is happening? I read the backstories. All right, so we have all the characters here. So do you want to just talk about it, any particular character or do you just want... Okay, let's start with D.Va. Uh, where is she? D.Va. All right, let's go. Basically, this character reminds me of Oscar Langley from Evangelion. She looks but, like it. She, it's like literally... Like, all her attack moves, everything that... She used that... to be a pro gamer. Well, she's fine. Anyways, it, it her character and playstyle reminds me of a mixture between Evangelion and Titanfall. Well, yeah, I think that was kind of the point. Though. That's why she has the mech, and I clicked the wrong tab, so something's going to open up. Yeah. Um, I actually want to see the abilities. Part two, now, part two. Oh, I want to see the... What? Nothing. I want to see the abilities. All right, so... She has a fusion cannon, and I think I'm gonna play the video. Hopefully, it's like shot. It's like shotguns, shotgun cannons. Oh, there's no audio. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. And internet failure. Thanks a lot, internet. The, if the internet did die right now, that would probably make this podcast a lot less interesting. Yeah. Because guess freaking what? A lot of the stuff. Oh, audio. Uh, let me. Look. Okay, that's just basic machine guns. Yeah, it's basically machine guns, but. No, but. Well, well, yeah, she basically is like Titanfall. She could get out of the mech at any moment and just basically go just with the pistol. Yeah. With the pistol, which is really freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so that's enough machine gun. Uh, she has boosters. Oh, you know what? It actually does kind of... now. It actually is kind of like Titanfall. Yeah. And then Defense Matrix. Oh, no. Okay, that's interesting. She could actually... Shoot the... Can activate forward-facing targeting arrows to shoot income. Okay, that's actually really good, though. Oh, wow. Okay, then she has, um... I love... The call mag is basically the Titanfall thing. Look, boom. And then she has her pistol. Yeah. Who just killed Hanzo in this video. 
And then we, and then, and then and yeah, she's basically like tight. It's basically, it's basically Titanfall. You no, know, but here's what I love about what when oh. she. Sorry, that was by accident. I didn't plan on that. I'm doing that. Here's what I love about her. It's like when she's doing like her ult. Yeah. Her her phrase is nerf this. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome! It's and it it fits perfectly because it's one of the most OP alts in the game. Oh, that reminds me, next year's gonna be really interesting though because we have Overwatch and Battleborn out next year. Oh yeah, Battleborn! I completely forgot about it. I play that game. Really? How is it? I cannot talk about it because there's an NDA on it. NDA. No non-disclosure agreement, so I can't. Oh man, come on! I'm going to break it slightly. Extremely fun game, and I can't talk about anything else on it. I hate you. Uh, well, like you can hear about it after we're, I'm done recording. Ew. Okay. Oh, that game's really fun though. It's, oh my dog. <laughs> I wonder if that pops up on the mic. Does it? Nah. I don't think so. I don't, maybe it's a really good mic. Blue snowball mic for anyone that's curious. It's a really solid microphone for like fifty bucks. Yeah. No, but yeah. So it's gonna be really interesting though, because Battleborn and Overwatch are very similar games. Yeah. But I. They're they're very my it's funny my my brother in law is not at all interested in Overwatch. Why is why is that? Because he said it's too cartoony for him. Well, that isn't that the point. That's the exactly, and it's great. You have a you have a gorilla that has glasses that is yeah. smart, who is voiced by Crispin Freeman, <laughs> I, who is Aldi Card in you know Helsing. Yeah, it's incredible. It's like how do you not? Oh, he's also Keon in Melancholy Party Season. Yeah. Really? Oh, I know you don't. Okay, so this just. Off top, really quick off topic thing. Uh, I know you watched um, a lot of your anime sub. Yeah. But watch Haruki or give the dub of Haruki a chance. Cause actually, I've, I think I've seen like the Har the not the Haruki series, but I've seen like the, the, Har- o- the yeah. OVAs. Oh, oh wait, let me wait, wait, wait. Uh, I actually have wait. Uh, like the videos. Give me a sec. It's like the OVAs of the heart. I, it's I, Haruki. I, I found this video recently, and I love it so much. What is this? Oh yeah, it's that one. Oh wait, crap! Wait. What, what the hell are you doing? Uh, wait. So sorry, I clicked the I clicked on uh, auto play. Oh, I found this recently, and I've been playing it every day because I love because that's Michelle Ruff. Yeah. And I love her Yuki Nagato, but this is so funny because uh, in the OVAs, she is an otaku, and it's funny because she still keeps the same facade of like not showing any emotion. So I, like you're just. What are you doing? Why do you stand up like that? This this actually happens in my house. <laughs> I That's love, me. I love this so much. She's. I am definitely not in the mood for this nonsense. The music is much too upbeat for my taste. No! <laughs> this is so much fun. I want to sing. Oh wait, then I like uh, that. Like how this do, how this ends. I just like how it ends. So. Michelle Ruff is a surprisingly good singer. Yeah. Well, a lot of voice actors are. Wait. Wait. What? So, you like that stuff? You know it. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there's another one where it just shows a Kermit. Kermi- like, there's uh, another one around here that says Nagato's Maid Game. Yeah. I never watched the OVA. They really should give them a sh- I should. I really should watch them. They were really funny. Back to Overwatch. Cause... Back to Overwatch. I, I, just, I, I just recently found this. It's an old video, but I recently found it. I'll you, link it below. Do you know the story behind Overwatch? Oh, about that it was part of Project Titan? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But uh, for anyone, uh, should we still, uh, should, do you want to talk about it for anyone that doesn't know? Sure. All right, do you talk Actually, about it? No, you talk about it. No, I'm saying it to you because I clearly don't know the whole story. Same here. All right, guess what? We have to go on Wikipedia. God damn it, Enzo. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> on Wikipedia, uh, Overwatch video game. Um, all right, let me see. But that just shows that Blizzard is really awesome if they were able to salvage a part of their game that they were making to just be like, oh was yeah. It, wasn't this from Heroes from the Storm? No, this wasn't. Uh, wait, what? Like Overwatch or? No, it's isn't it part of Heroes from the Storm? Uh, wait, what? Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, the other Blizzard game, Heroes of the Storm. Oh no, I know about Heroes of the Storm, but what exactly are you talking about? Without it doesn't connect story wise. Oh, to Overwatch? Yeah. Not really, because the thing with uh, Heroes of the Storm, it just basically is like the crossover <laughs> game, but there's not an actual explanation of why. It's like, oh, you can play any Blizzard character against any other Blizzard character. Oh. And the interesting thing is they're, they're going to add Overwatch characters to it, mm-hmm. but like there's not really a giant overarching story between all the Blizzard games, because it would be really difficult to do yeah. that. Alright, so let me see uh, development. Uh, create an awesome FPS experience that's more accessible to a much wider audience while delivering more action. Oh, okay, here it is. 
Uh, Chris Metzen of Blizzard acknowledged that parts of Overwatch, such as maps, share, com share continuity with uh, the company's canceled MMORPG Titan, though the, game, the games are completely different. Uh, citing a desire to keep the game style simple, and because it, because it contradicted its emphasis on accomplishing goals as a team rather than trying to achieve a large number of kills, Overwatch will not contain a traditional deathmatch mode. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, it's like I, th I was watching like some people play the beta. It's like, wait, this is weird. There's no, there's no. Oh, that actually brings up an interesting thing that I actually can't talk about Battleborn because I'm not saying anything good or bad. I'm saying something that they already have shown. With uh, Battleborn, they actually have this very, this very MOBA, MOBA esque uh, game mode, which is you're yawning because you're bored. <laughs> but <laughs> MOBA esque uh, game mode where basically there are, it's basically. There are two goals um, on both ends of the map, and they change. But basic, but basically, from where you spawn, there are these minions that you have to transport. That if they get into the goal, you score points. And it's actually really fun and interesting, though. But uh, it's actually really fun and interesting. It's I actually like that both games are kind of taking their own approach to the whole multiplayer thing. But there are a lot of games out next year that are very hero centric multiplayer games. It's like really weird like why this is all happening now though. I don't know. Considering the fact that there's, uh, like, uh, there's a Captain America Civil War because that was... That was a cool trailer. That though. was a cool trailer. It's like but he's my friend. So was I. And then they, and then Tony starts uh, get the crap beaten out of him. And, like, and then he throws their shield and it's like oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Alright so actually let me there's a funny picture I saw forever ago. I'm gonna see uh, wait. Uh, don't like I'm just gonna four different games uh there it is uh because next year like there's so again like it's a thing to emphasize how many uh m how many hero based shooters with very similar art styles are out next next year and this picture sums it up so well if it loads but what well, if it loads um but yeah so so your favorite picture is genji yeah Either either Genji or Hanzo. Those are the, the two the, people the, the I'm two planning on. My, my favorite picture is the Reaper, just because you look... Oh, okay, here it is. Let me... I think that's Battleborn, I think. Oh, wait. These are four different games. Oh. Ba Battleborn, Overwatch, and then these two are... That's Gigantic, and then another third one. But, like, they look really similar, though, right? Yeah, I guess. They look extremely similar. Well, actually, you can see it much closer, actually. Huh. Like they look really, it's like crazy how many uh, hero-based shooters are out next next year. It's crazy. I'm, I'm th my main thing is uh, Battleborn won me over after I played it, and Overwatch I immediately got one over with the first trailer because <laughs> I was like, this thing looks awesome. So let's go back and look at another hero. I wouldn't be surprised if like Pixar actually picked up Overwatch and made it into a movie. No, I no, I just no because I would rather it be Blizzard that does it because Blizzard is freaking amazing when it comes to their trailers. <laughs> They are ama They don't need Pixar. They could do it all by themselves. It's a, do you but it's it's Pixar esque. It is very Pixar esque. Do you want to make? Uh, do you want to go look at Genji? Uh no. Let's let's do um uh, Tracer because right. that's like right. number that's number one for everybody. Really? <laughs> because think about it. Oh, wait, let me. The ha it's like the hair, the jumpsuit. We're still recording. So okay, we've been going on for twelve minutes. All right. So. It's it's the hair, the jumpsuit. I guess the accent. I guess. Real name, Lena Oxton, age 26. And the fact that she's like a very agility-based character. Yeah, she's... Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. I've been more interested with the newer characters that they've been revealing, and we already have the whole cast now. But Tracy actually was really cool, though. Uh, she ha Tracy has, like, you know, regular-based pistols that look really freaking cool. Yeah, basically, Tracer to me... But the thing is, like, she has, she has teleports, basically. Like, she is basically has teleports yeah and it's really cool though because you get a lot of like all that distance that she's getting done is amazing like that is done that like she's getting from one point a to point b really fast but tracer reminds me like like that really annoying mosquito oh <laughs> it's like it doesn't do that much damage but yet it's still freaking annoying yeah i know but her whole thing is just speed it's like i know speed. it's i know but it's then speed she also has like recall which is just it'll, it'll allow her to rewind whatever she's doing to the last thing to like the last couple seconds and if you hear a dog barking in the background that's my dog sorry uh, just saying. But Paul Swamp seems very un seems very weak. <laughs> it's just the chances of you it, getting well, hit by it, that. Well, it's just because it's a bomb. It's like there's not really anything to it. Oh, let me see. Uh, the large bomb that adheres to surface for unfortunate enemies, it lands on after a brief delay. The bomb explodes, dealing high damage to all. Yeah, but it's just a bomb, though. It's just a sticky bomb. Yeah. I feel like it's very lackluster to compare to all the other stuff she's doing. But then again, it makes sense, though, because she her base abilities are just like, okay, her base abilities are 
really cool. They have to kind of balance it out. They can't make it all really interesting. And I don't know if we want to read the whole thing because it's actually a long paragraph. Hmm. See, this is... I'm just going to link to the battle.net thing of Overwatch, and then you can just look at all the the all the Overwatch characters if you want. Hmm. Alright, so who else do you want to look at? Uh, let's go, let's take a quick look at Reaper. Yay! I know he's your favorite character. He's my favorite character. Well, here's the thing. Here's a drawback of Reaper. I really don't like the way how he reloads his weapons. Really? He just throws them on the ground and it's like... Oh, it, wait, wait, wait. it takes a second. Wait, I just want to see if the animation was to the... Because it's loading, because it's freaking up. Wait. Yep. There See, you I don't, I don't like the, I don't like the fact that unintentional slow mo from the terrible internet. Well, uh, one, I don't like the fact that he's littering. Really? <laughs> yes, That's, I don't he's like a bad that. guy though. Like, look at him; he's just bad. No, oh, I don't like, I don't like the fact that he's littering, says Chris. But he litters, so <laughs> zero out of ten. <laughs> zero out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't like the fact that how his reloading animation is just like throwing him on the floor because that gives you a second. If you see like a Widowmaker, she's going to instantly snipe it when she's re when... See, but that's the thing though. He has to have like a weakness. He can't be perfect. I know that. that but he I has to have I a time though where someone can take him out because his other abilities are really good because guess what? He has an ability that makes him intangible. Uh, that makes him intangible. Like it allows him... He, 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 he can get shot and he takes no damage. He okay, I can agree with that. But, but in that time if he can't shoot though. Yeah. But it's, that's the point though. But I could use that, but I want to know if I can use that ability while I'm reloading. Also, I don't like the Shade 7 ability. I don't like that very- I don't like that because it take- Oh, uh, this one? Once again, that gives that ability to have, be able to snipe across the map by a Widowmaker. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, but again, they can't make it perfect. They have to have every- they have to make every character have a good- I, have a strength and a weakness. I guess. And that's why I don't see it because I'm looking at his strength. I'm looking at it's like, yeah, he's very good up close. All of his abilities are to get up close and not take any damage. But but when he's reloading, he's still weak, so you can take him out from a distance. Like that's the point, though. Like, I I guess I, I yeah. Because I, like right here, while he's teleporting. Like, I guess it's shadows, my own opinion on how I view. Whatever, Reaper. we'll play the game and we'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, but the shadow step is actually really cool. But again, it has gives him some time of invulnerability because you see, like he has to, he can't shoot in that time, so he could easily be taken out. And then the old death blossom, which. Ah, oh, that thing's awesome. And sees both health, fire, shotguns, and breaking speed, dealing massive damage. My thing is though, can I get? Does he take damage in that form? I don't think so because uh, I don't know. Maybe this is just based on going on like the trailer, but I don't think he can. Okay, so that's uh, that is enough uh, Reaper. See, that's the thing. That's why I wanted to talk to you about this because we were having this argument. We were not really argument, this discussion like online, but I actually wanted to talk about it with you. Well, what other characters do you want to look at? Um. God, I like Mercy. Uh, where is she? Mercy's right over there. Oh. She's like a flight. She's like a uh, somewhat like an agility character. Oh, this character. This character. She. I like the fact that she can revive people. Oh, she's oh she's support. Okay. She's support. She has the ability. Has like freaking wings. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's. I think the whole thing of her being an angel is. This thing. But I like the fact that she has the ability to fly to fly to ooh, their to your teammates. When they're on, what? <sighs> oh, okay. Basically, a so, a. Okay, so this is a character though that is not at all supposed to be in a battle. She's supposed to support everybody else. Yeah, but because it's interesting because I never noticed her uh, Cadius staff. Yeah. Where it could make them powerful or just bring back their health, which is really interesting. And then she could fly. Hmm. But yeah, she's more support, which is really interesting, and she has more. She has one. She has two more abilities, or now she has one more ability compared to some of the other characters we've seen. And you like to stand, propelled by a Valkyrie suit. Mercy slows the speed of her descent from great strength, from this great height. And then resurrect. Resurrect. Oh, okay, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's gonna. That's gonna be huge. That is I can imagine like some. See, but the thing is, oh look, uh, you want we can look at Hanzo next to right here. Oh sure. See, but the interesting thing about uh, Overwatch is, compared to Battleborn, and I'm just comparing it because the games are very similar, is that everyone can be the same character, basically, in yeah. Overwatch. But a Battleborn, the character you pick is the character you're stuck with for the rest of the game. Yeah. So it's like one of those things where some people just might all do the same character, and they might just kind of get rid of the fun from playing it, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like, that's why I like playing Battleborn so much, was that majority of the time... Both teams had a very diverse set of characters, mm. and it was really interesting because when battles happened, it was actually like 
Oh, crap! It's, uh, that guy with the sword. You have to run away, but, oh, on the other side, there's, like, the robot dude with, like, the machine gun. It's, like, crazy. Mm -hmm. But on this, it's, like, everyone's basically the same character. All right, Hanzo. I, I liked Hanzo. Oh, he's, a, oh, he's defense. I wasn't surprised. I was, yeah, I was, he, was a de he was a defensive character. I wasn't expecting that, because he, you know, was the projectile. I thought he would be more long-range mm. long attacking. No, I actually expect him to be defense. You know why? Why? Because, here's the thing. With bow and arrow type characters, you can't really do much. You can't go into the middle middle of battle and just take charge. Yeah. You need to play it safe. So, okay. it's like you're going to be sniping fools from the distance and... Yeah, we're recording for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. But... Okay, so we've been recording for an hour because the last one was 45 minutes and this is 20 minutes. Yeah. And here's yeah, the thing. The Sonic, the Sonic Arrow, it's really good for... Or it's a really good support... Or, arrow because you have the ability to see through your see through walls with your targets well oh actually we can just see uh, the animation that's just basic bow yeah the basic bow and the sonic arrow which basically basically an enemy within its detection radius oh okay yeah it's... oh okay 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 okay, okay. That, and then you have the scatter bow that could also oh, be... Oh, damn. Yeah, it's basically ricochets. Damn, if you take really If you take good. it to, like, a tight corner... No, it makes you happy. Reaper died there. <laughs> yes, it, Reaper died. Jesus, that's actually really powerful. And then here's the, here's the one I love, the Dragon Strike. Power of the Dragon. He basically... Wait, so he just summons two twin dragons. Basically, he he gets seven dragon... He gets all... all seven, seven? Uh, Dragon Balls? Yeah, he gets yeah. all seven Dragon Balls and just shoots the dragon at you. What is your wish? Kill everyone! Oh my god! It I... passes through the walls in the way the right any enemies encounter. Yeah, that 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 was that's gonna scare a lot of people. That is. Oh, wait, <laughs> you see, you wait, see a dragon like, pop like, out like, of the okay, wall. Okay, so that it's funny. Let me just say, um, you haven't played Star Wars Battlefront like the new one. Oh, uh, I've seen gameplay of the it. Scare. I've played some of it. The scariest freaking thing in that game is when you're playing, and all of a sudden you see Luke. Or Darth Vader walking, and you start running away, but they have a, their agility is ten times better than yours. But like it was funny because I, I uh, funny story, I was playing it and I, I was like I was a stormtrooper. No, I wasn't a stormtrooper. I was like a rebel, and I was like far away and I saw Vader, and I was like I start running away and Vader sees me like I literally see his head see me, and I'm like he's not gonna get me. And then all of a sudden he throws his lightsaber and he kills me, and I'm like. What the heck? I was like, what? Sni lightsaber snipe from because across the map. He's like, well, it wasn't across the map. Like, it was actually some good distance between us, but he was like, he could still clearly see me. He, and I was like, haha. Like, and there was another one where I was running away from him, and he was trying to hit me, and I was getting distance, and he was just like, Pfft. and I was like, Pfft. and I just died, and I was like, what the heck? You, you should have popped a heavy, end, so You should have popped a heavy. Uh, right, let's go back to uh, some of the other characters. Uh, I think. Uh, do you mind if we end here? Really? We've only talked about three characters. Let's, you know, let's talk about two more characters. Two okay. more character. Okay. Two more characters. Uh, let's do Genji. Uh, let me go to Heroes while that was. Uh, oh, this is a shorter podcast than uh, the last two. Yeah, because I had to go. All right, so where is Genji? Genji's right there. Uh, he Raiden? Right what are you, Raiden? Raiden, what are you doing here? You're missing what? your sombrero, bro. Where's your sombrero and your nano machine, son? I should just put that picture of you. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to put it. I'll, I'll use that thought. Cause he was wearing a he, he put on my sombrero before the podcast started. But God, he's cool looking. Yeah, he does look cool looking. But Wait, is he fully robot or is he just part? part he's. Of I think they put his consciousness into a robotic body. Oh. So that. I don't know. When I look at him, he, parts of him looks like part like his legs. He, look, he, lo, his legs look like they're actual flesh, but then his arm, his hands obviously don't. Basically, look. if you want to be real uh, high. There there it is, the dragon. If you want to be Ryu Hayabusa, pick Ken pick Genji. Um, it's funny because I like that he's the basic trope of being a badass like Rope. guy with a sword because he does everything. Where it's like, oh yeah, he can deflect bullets with his sword, no problemo. He's really like, it's like I get it. Oh, it's still loading though. Shurikens, you can throw shurikens. Three deadly drawing stars in a quick succession. Alternate, alternatively, you can throw three shurikens in a wider spread. Basically, you know, like yeah, the deflect thing I told you about, where he could deflect stuff with his sword. Trust me, I've seen, I've seen a guy. See, like again, look, that's the that's the thing I told you about, where that's you know in samurai movies where it's like, like they like they do that slash. Guess what? He does, <laughs> this guy is just the basic trope of a samurai, but with a rope with like a robot. Yeah, but here, here's the thing, and with a deflect, it's gonna be really op when it comes to winter makers. You and Widowmakers, like it's like you, you as Widowmaker. Wait, I've, I can't snipe with shit. 
That's true, though. Uh, and then more dragons. And then basically you can go ham. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like that they kept the dragon thing going on with Hanzo and Genji. Because they're, because both... they're brothers. What do you expect? I know, but I'm so... Wait, uh, will this have a story? I think so. I'm not sure. I, I, I think it's mostly I, multiplayer. I know, but like, because they can't just be like brothers and just be like, nah, with no explanation. I'm like, I want to see how he became a robot ninja. I want to see how he came right in from freaking Metal Gear. Uh, this, I think I remember reading one of those. It's saying that uh, Hanzo right, actually but... beat up his brother for some oh, reason. Okay, I was not expecting that. Who do you want to look at next? Okay. Um... Uh, so... Wait, wait, when I said two more, was that including Genji or... No? That included Genji. Okay, so the last guy, and then we're just going to end it off, and... and then we're going to end it off. Let's do Mei. Mei is a character that I I didn't really like at first, but after watching gameplay videos, I was like, this sound, this character sounds interesting. She looks like the girl from Inside Out. Really? No, oh, no. yeah, she does! The mom, the mom, not the, not the, not, not, a uh, Riley, her mom. Oh... I, I honestly I was thinking uh, sadness. What? what? I was thinking sadness because no, of their color wait, scheme. Wait, actually, give me a sec. Like, let me search up. Uh, voice wait. actors. No, not the voice actor. Inside Out. Inside Out. Mom. I still need to watch Inside Out. They were giving it like look at that and then look at her. It's because of glasses. That's why. Oh uh, sweet. No, it's if, if you look at her hair too, it also looks very similar. Like look at that. I don't know. Whatever. It hers is in like an ponytail. Hers and Mace is in, is in a bun. Bun. Oh, see, so it has the little thing right there. <laughs> oh, she's also the fence. All right, so let's just talk about it really quickly, and then we'll just end. All right. Okay. So abilities. Abilities. She has. She basically has. She's basically Doc Mister Freeze. Yeah. But she. Yeah, she's basically Mister Freeze though. But I don't think she can kill you though. I think that's just so other characters can get can get uh, the can get the opponent. Yeah, because that doesn't kill. That doesn't kill them. It can kill. Really? Oh, Maybe if you do it correctly. Shoot ice cold, like oh yeah, she can shoot ice cold, Like so, she, she can kill. She can kill, but I feel like she's more. That's more just for because she's using it on tracer, which is a hard character to hit. I think it's just to make a character easier, um, easier target. Mm -hmm. Cryo freeze. Yes, that's very self-explanatory. She just freezes enemies. Trust me, I've seen people. Whenever you know, like May's like alt, yeah. they can they can be invisible, invincible in that one. The ice wall I find awesome though because it just basically allows, depending on how you use it, you can use it to get into areas very differently, or you just use it as a as a, as a shield, which I like a lot. Yeah, it's really awesome. And and then her final thing is Blizzard. Listen. Ha ha ha! Get it? Cause it's the peep. That's a stupid joke. All right, so. May deploys a weather modification drone that emits gusts of winds and snow in a wide area. Enemies caught in the blizzard are slowed and take damage. Those who linger take too long are frozen solid. Wait, but can it kill though? It can kill. Wait, is every ultimate ability, have they confirmed that every ultimate ability will kill and will, will be able to kill somebody? Um, I've seen people, I've seen blizzard take down tracers. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, not every, but even this ability. I like that every character, even if they're not attacked, they're still really good at actual offense. Yeah. I don't know, Blizzard's really good with balancing, though. Yeah. Okay. We have to end it off now. And that was uh, Overwatch. Because Chris has to freaking go to the doctor. Hey, 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 hey. Is it anything major, or is it just like a regular checkup? Oh, uh, it's more of therapy. Oh. Eh, okay. whatever. Wait, 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 before you go, what's, what, what, what do you want the ending song to be? I want to be the very what? best. Dude, no, we, no, no we don't even talk about Pokemon. Pokemon. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. They catch them as my real test. The trade them is my, I don't know. We don't even talk about Pokemon this I, one. I don't know. All right, so I guess that's the song. All right. All right, bye. See ya. Okay, bye. Time to go, Cuckoo House. Bye.